Right, I've, I've just been machining the final drive centre. That's where the two bevel gears go. I've got a little bit to go yet. But after machining that, this is the outside ring where the teeth are going to be cut. Which will have to fit on there. So I have to mount that on a faceplate or something to machine this inside side. That's the main drive center part all machined up. Now I've got to sort out the outside ring. Well, I've managed to get the uh, outside ring on the chuck. It's running quite central. I'll just show you. So now I can turn the steps inside to fit the um, center part. Right, well, I'm just going to use a little boring bar to bore in there. So first thing I'm going to do is this outside one, open it out so that the inner one will fit in. Now I've machined the overall size so this part fits in there. I've now got to take it down to depth so that this face is flush with the outside face. So I'll just do that. Right, that's that pocket machined. Now I've just got to make a little recess about uh, 3 sixteenths deep on this edge. machined. What I've got to do now is turn this around and machine the overall size in the hole there. So this part will fit through that bit. Right, I've centered that up pretty good on the four jaw chuck and I'm just machining the inside hole so the center will fit in properly. So I've machined that hole so that slips in, that's a good tight fit. I get that off there now and then I'll be able to put that in the other side and get it fitted in. So here we've got the inner part and the outside ring. What I've got to do now is put some bolts on there to keep them fitted together. Put that on the mandrel and machine the overall diameter for the teeth. Right, this is the main drive part, the centre and the ring together ready to go back on the arbour. What I've got to do is I'll just clean this back up so it's flat. Machine it to the right width. 
and then uh, the overall diameter. Right, I've tr just cleaned up this side. Now I turn it around and machine that to the right thickness. Right, that's machined to the right thickness now. Now all I've got to do is machine the overall diameter of it. This is the last cut, that's the overall diameter now, ready for cutting the teeth. Right, that's the main drive ring done, ready for cutting the teeth. Now we've got to do the maths to find out uh, what indexing plate we're going to use for 96 teeth. Right, we need to cut 96 teeth on this drive gear. First thing we'll do, we get the right cutter. So I've got a number two cutter here, which does 55 to 134. So I'm gonna use the number two cutter. Then we gotta find out the indexing plate. As you know from the other uh, videos, I've got three plates. Ranging from 15 to 20, 21 to 33, and 37 to 49. Let's put them aside. Now, as you know, my divider net's got 40 to 1 ratio. So I've put the ratio there and the teeth, how many teeth there? So what I'll do is I'll divide both numbers by 2, which gives me 20 over 48. But as you can see, I haven't got a 48 hold plate. So what I'll do is I'll divide that by 2 again. Gives me 20 over 10 over 24, sorry. And I haven't got a 24 plate. Now I've been trying all different ways. And with the plates I've got, I cannot cut the 96 tooth gear. So there's no hardship. I'm going to have to make myself a 24 hold indexing plate. So that's what I've got to do first. So 24 plate and 10 of the 24 holes. So you've got the plate there, the pin on the first hole, which I always call zero anyway. Then you count 10 holes. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The pin will go in there then, and that'll be your second tooth, and then so on. Ten holes to the third one. As it's 96, if we were doing 80 teeth, you do two holes per one turn. As we're doing 96, it's going to be two holes and a little bit. That's why we need to do the maths. So what I've got to do now, make a 24 hole index plate. All right, so I'm going to make a 24 hole indexing plate. I've marked the center. 
Now I'm going to do a three hole pitch circle diameter for the three fixing holes. So I'll do that next. Right, so I've set a three hole pitch circle diameter. That's for the three fixing holes. Right, so I'll just start the in the machine. Three fix and holes done. Now I'll set a 24 pitch circle diameter. Right, so now I've got 24 holes to do on a pitch circle diameter. So let's get on and do those. First hole. Second hole. Right, third hole. I'll just carry on and do the rest of them. Right, that's halfway done. Right, that's all those 24 holes done. I'm going to go back round them now with a 3mm drill bit just to open them up a bit. Then I'll drill these with the size holes for the screws and drill the center out that fits on the shaft. That's that hole there. Right, that's all the outside holes. Now I'll go back and do these three fixing holes, drill them out to the right side. Right, so that's the three fixing holes done as well. Now all I've got to do Let's drill the center hole. Right, so that's the indexing plate finished. I'll get it out and try it on the indexing head. Right, here's my 24 hole dividing plate. So the first tooth will be cut there, and then you've got 10 holes. Look, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So you cut the first tooth. Move that one down to there. That's your second tooth. This then will be my third tooth round here. So round here we go. Slide that round there and so on. Each one is a tooth every 10 holes. That'll do 96 teeth. Now I can set this on to the milling machine. Get my central final gear 96 tooth gear in there and cut the teeth right i've got all this mounted on the milling machine just about fit it in i've backed up the divide head on some 321 blocks and i've got the milling cutter dead center of this gear now i can start cutting my 96 teeth. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut my teeth in two again. First cut 105, the second cut 216. So let's cut the first one. Steady as she goes. There we go. Right, that's the first tooth cut at 100. Just right. turn 10 holes. Next one. 
one. Three. They look quite good. Right, I'll just carry on and do a few more. Right, that's the last two cuts. They all look pretty good. So my dividing plate I made wasn't bad. Now I'm going to adjust the cutter to the full depth of 216 uh, foul. Right, so I adjusted the cutter to 216 foul. Let's see how we get on. Nice and steady. Right, that's the first teeth cut to the full depth. Now I'll just carry on. That'll take a while. Well, that's a few teeth done. I've ran out of time this weekend. I was hoping to get this all cut. So in the next video, this will all be done. So please subscribe to my channel and join me as I build a two-inch scale Fowler Showman's traction engine.